Drew Barrymore has been in front of the camera for most of her life. She's, of course, an award-winning actress, but also a producer, director, author, entrepreneur, and let's not forget, a mom as well. And starting next week, you can add talk show host to that list. The Drew Barrymore Show premieres this Monday right here on Maryland's first television station. And to get you ready, Drew Barrymore joins us. Drew, thanks so much for doing this. Thank you, Christian. Thanks for having me. Okay, first I've got to ask you, what is the Army of Optimism and where can we sign up? Ah, oh, awesome. You know, the Army of Optimism is a place where you realize that optimism and happiness isn't this silly thing. It's hard, fought for. It's, it takes effort. It's not always easy. It's not always on tap. But if the reward is optimism and happiness for the effort that goes into it, it's sort of that journey to get there that I'm equally as excited about to figure out on this show. Starting this show during a pandemic, uh, I have to imagine that it's not going to look exactly like it may have been originally intended. I, I think it, I'm hoping it is uh, the right show. And we did try to turn obstacles into, into opportunities. I thought a lot about what I thought people should have and deserve when they're watching their TVs or their content, however they digest. And I actually made a very personal documentary called The Making Of, and it's in four parts. The third one comes out today on our YouTube channel, and the fourth one is gonna come out on Saturday. I think that understanding what the process is, I sometimes don't even sort of understand how my name is on the show because I'm so in love and celebrating everyone who's on and in this endeavor. We're an orchestra. We've all got instruments. Sometimes we play in unison and sometimes we play jazz, man. And there's a whole process to how something like this exists and I want to take people behind the curtain and really explain what this year long journey in this year has been. So now the show actually premieres next week. Can you tell us uh, some of the guests that you've got lined up for the first week? Well, I guess it's no longer a secret. I'm like, uh, but uh, there is an incredible, uh, uh, there's incredible people coming. I always told Ashley, our talent booker, I was like, look, no one's ever coming because I'm just not an assuming person. Um, but I'm, I'm amazed at who's showing up, uh, some of whom are also my friends. Uh, and I thought, how can I get my journalistic integrity and have those interesting sit downs, but also be myself and celebrate the people I've gotten to live alongside with and do some of the things I'm the most proud of and celebrate them. So it's going to be a real mixed mosaic. I think every show should be that and have a balance of a little bit of everything. That's what I'm really hoping for. And uh, Drew, I hope we can get you down to Baltimore here one of these days so we can uh, find you some good places to try our crab cakes down here in Baltimore. I am a crab fanatic. I was in Annapolis pounding the crabs on like a dock restaurant while boats were going by and I was like, this is living. I love it. I would love to come there. Please have me. Anytime. Drew Barrymore, thanks so much for doing this. Starting this Monday, you can watch the Drew Barrymore Show every afternoon, 4 o'clock, right here on WMAR2 News. Drew Barrymore, thanks again, and best of luck with the new show.